we got a real interesting issue this week in the state senate when they vote on whether to require buffer zones in the parking lots at the entrances and the exits of abortion clinics this controversy really stems from what happens every thursday at the pentacook street clinic operated by planned parenthood of northern new england in manchester anti-abortion activists are out there and staff and clients of planned parenthood have said sometimes they felt harassed or intimidated now the protesters came to testify against this bill and essentially said we hold signs we're respectful and by the way one of them said they had their car shot up with pellets from a pellet gun because they had protested. Democratic Senator Donna Susi has done a lot of work on this bill. She's got Senate Majority Leader Jeb Bradley for this bill. It came out of committee three to two with a recommendation to kill it. I think it stands a possible chance of passing. But opponents have a powerful weapon, and that's uncertainty. And that uncertainty is all about the U.S. Supreme Court. That's because right now the U.S. Supreme Court has before it a case on whether, it's, whether a Massachusetts 35-foot buffer zone is unconstitutional. New Hampshire's would be 25 feet. So opponents can essentially say, this isn't ready for prime time. Let's find out from the Supreme Court what happens before we adopt a New Hampshire buffer zone law. So I think it's very much in doubt as to whether this bill would pass. Governor Maggie Asin, I believe, would sign it. So it's a live wire, and it's got a real opportunity to pass. Fascinating debate. We'll follow it for you here at nationaltelegraph.com. Kevin Landrigan, thanks for following me.